Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So here, use integration by pass and substitution to evaluate this. So uh, press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, let let this thing here be uh, be w. So let w be uh, the natural log of x. Then uh, dw equals this, and then uh, try and make dx the subject. So times both sides by by uh, by x. That will then give you this. Um, but then when, when you look at this, you can see that um, that you've got this annoying x lingering around because later on we, we would need to put this into here. But then uh, but then we, we don't want we don't want the x here. We want it in terms of uh, in terms of uh, w. So uh, so from here, um, you, you need to go back to here and realize that if you if you e equally to both sides, it will then give you this thing here. It will then give you this thing here. So x is e uh, e to the power of w. So we can then put this into this x here. Okay. So so that will then take you to to here. So now now we can put this. We can substitute this into here, and then put the w into here, and then the whole lot will become this. The whole lot will become uh, will. Will become this much simpler now. So, so to um, to evaluate this, it, it really boils down to us evaluating this. So now we uh, we need to integrate by parts um, to uh, to evaluate this. So looking at this here, you can see it's one block here and one block here. So um, so you know that if you use integration by parts, um, this is going to go round and round in circles. This here is going to go round and round in circles. So you you know you've got a scenario where you you have capital I here and then blah blah with uh, capital I over here uh, and then and then you would add two I over here. You see what I mean later. But well, we've done this many times in the past. So if you don't know what I'm talking about here, then uh, then track back to one of the earlier videos. So 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 we are at this stage here. We should realize that this. It's going to go round and round in circles. This here is going to go round and round in circles. So we know we've got a scenario where we've got capital I equals blah blah, blah minus capital I here. Okay. Well, anyway, let's let's just try and evaluate this. So evaluating that would then give us this. So use um, use integration by parts. So let so we are trying to evaluate this. So let this be uh, how, let this be u. And then let this be here uh, v prime. So uh, so if u equals this, then uh, then u prime equals this. If v prime equals this, then normal v would equal this. So follow the normal routine. Um, it's saying get u times v. It's saying get u times v. So that would then be e w sine w, and then uh, minus minus the integral of uh, u prime, u prime uh, times v times v. So that would be this w uh, cos uh, w dx. Uh, no, sorry, d d uh, dw. Uh, and then uh, and then and then and then uh, and then we we would need to um, we would need to repeat the same process on on this part here. So anyway, substituting everything in into here, this whole thing here will become will become this. Okay? It will become this. So now we we're going to repeat the process. So let's try and evaluate this bit here. Just this bit here. Later on we will we will substitute it back into here. So for the time being let's just try and evaluate this. So we are we are going to use the same process, integration by parts. So just just evaluating this bit only, this bit only, that will then give us this. Hang on. So uh, so now let's uh, let this be u, and let this be uh, v prime, and then blah blah blah. Substitute everything into here, and then it will then give you this. Okay, it will then give you this. So now let's um, let's recap. Let's start again. Hang on, bear with me. So uh, so let's uh, let's recap. Hang on. So let's start again. We were trying to um, we were. Oh, right from the start, we were trying to uh, to evaluate this. So substitution would then lead us to this. Tidy this up, it would then lead us to this. So to 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 um to integrate this, all we need to do is evaluate this. 
Now evaluating this, we've got to use integration by parts. That then led us to um, that then led us to uh, to this. But then now we need to evaluate this. Well, evaluating this here would then give us this thing here. Okay, so we so uh, so we are now at, a, at this stage here. Okay, so now um, now 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 let's let's just call this whole thing here capital I. Okay, so notice that this thing here, so 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 capital I here equals this whole thing here. Okay, but but then uh, but then this thing here, now this thing here is exactly the same as this thing here. So you've got a case where you've got capital I here equals uh, this whole thing here is capital Y here. So so from here, from here that will then take us to here. Okay. So we've got capital I equals uh, this whole thing, uh, and then you've got capital I here. So this is exactly the same as this. So add add capital I to both sides. That will then give you this, and then uh, and then divide both sides by two. That will then give us this. Okay. And then earlier. Earlier we said um, earlier we said let uh, let uh, w equals natural log of x. So now uh, now hang on, bear with me. Let me just move this across. So now um, well earlier we said let um, earlier we said let w equals this thing here. So now now we can um, we can put this thing back into the w here, back into here, back into here. And back into here. That would then take us to here. Okay. So, uh, so e well e and the natural log. These two will cancel out, giving you just x. So giving you just x. And then you've got over two. And then uh, and then this whole well substituting um, w back in. Uh, it, overall, the answer here will be this. Okay.